Game Kings, the definition of game documentary coming soon. Yo, yo, what's going on? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy, the dating game. What's good? So what I notice is a lot of guys when they're dating, hooking up with girls, you know, just trying to make shit happen, right? A lot of guys will treat women differently based off of, you know, how hot she is, uh, maybe her race, her occupation, you know, the amount of money she has, all these different things. Guys will treat women differently or come at women differently, try to holler at chicks differently, you know, based off of these different types of situations, right? You know, in, in, in these different, um, you know, in a different context of guys like, well, this girl right here, she's, you know, a, a higher class girl or this girl right here, you know, she is a, is a, is a thought or this girl right here, she's smart. So I got to come at her this way. Right. And so dudes are coming at women and try to make things happen with women and they're switching up or they think they got to switch up based off of, you know, all these different factors. Now, what I'm saying to you guys is this, and this is going to really help your game out a lot. This is going to make shit way easy for, easier for you. And this is going to make you more attracted to women and, and, you know, get shit popping when it comes to you dealing with women. And that is you have to treat all of them the same. All right. You have to treat all of them the same. So what that means is that you do not give a woman special treatment because this is like the hottest girl you've seen all week. You understand? Or you don't treat a woman differently because, you know, she's a different race or Let's say this girl is, you know, she has some degrees or some shit or she works at this company. Like you don't treat women differently based off of any of the shit. See, what you do is you have a focus on what you want to do with women, period. You understand what What do you want to do with women in general? What What's the thing? you want to do so let's say for example the thing you want to do is you know meet chicks and just hook up right and so what happens is is let's say you meet a chick at a you know at a party or at an event or whatever and you know she's cute she's not the the hottest chick you ever seen but she's cute let's say she's like a six and a half maybe seven right on a scale of one to ten just to keep it simple right so you want to hook up with this chick and now you flirt with her you're building sexual tension you're just being real flirtatious and you're letting the chick know hey you know i want to take you back to my place and then you make it happen and then you take it back to your place you have sex with her right and then next week you are at an event at a bar or at a club or wherever the hell it is you know and you see a chick who you think is a dime. So now you think that because she's a dime, you have to come at her differently, right? But you want to hook up with her just like you hooked up with that seven the other day, you know, last week. But you're thinking, well, I can't go up to her how I went up to the seven because she's a dime. I got to come at her different. You don't have to come at her different. Treat her the same way. You understand? You want to hook up with her? You flirt with her the same way you was flirting with the seven. You build that sexual tension with her the same way you would do with the seven. Same thing if you saw a girl who you thought was, you know, some chick who was some professional type of chick. She's a lawyer or some shit. And you're thinking, oh, well, she has this really, you know, like a uh, good job and she's making a whole bunch of money. So I, I can't, I can't just tell her I want to hook up, even though I do want to hook up. I just can't tell her that maybe I have to take her out on a few dates and then I'll try to hook up with her. No, stop it. Treat her the same way. You understand? See what you guys don't get is all of these things, all these differences, 
it's an illusion. You understand? It, it doesn't mean shit when it comes to you and that girl being able to be in a sexual situation, right? Because first of all, you thinking this girl's a seven and then you thinking this other girl's a 10 is just your opinion. So that's all in your mind. You understand? They're just two different women. And, you know, these women most likely are going to want to have sex at some point with somebody. So why can't it be you? Right. And you can make that happen if you go up to them, interact with them and try to make sex happen. But you don't have to do anything different. You don't have to do anything special to one girl versus another girl. Right. If that chick is a lawyer, she's making a lot of money. So what? She's still got a vagina. Right. She's still got a clitoris. And she's going to want to fuck. So why not? Why can't that be you that she's fucking? Right. So you come at her the same way that you do when you're just trying to fuck these girls. You understand? But see, a lot of y'all think because a woman is, you know, in a certain occupation, a certain race, a certain, you know, uh, you know, you think she's like a more attractive woman or whatever it is. You think that's going to make a difference in how you come at her to get that same result you're trying to get. No, do the same shit you've been doing. You understand? Do not switch it up. It's because see, the switching up is the thing that makes it harder for you to make shit happen with the girl. You understand? Because what happens is, is that if you've been let's say hooking up with a few girls that were like, you know, decent, cute looking girls. And every time you hooked up with them, you were being, you know, very assertive sexually. And you were, you know, building that sexual tension. Right. And that was working. When you go up to that girl who you think is a dime, what happens is that when you switch up and the fact that you're switching up for her, you're not coming at her with that same sexual energy that you were doing the other girls, right? And the fact that you switched up already in, you know, in the first place, already right there takes away from some of that attractiveness you had or have when you are dealing with these other girls and, and you know, building that sexual tension and being sexual. So then it, it sort of throws off the whole interaction. So when you approach her at nine, approach her with the same energy that you approach those sixes and sevens that you've been smashing. Approach that lawyer with the same energy as those sixes and sevens you were smashing. Approach that girl from that different race with the same energy as the six and sevens that you were smashing. Because what's getting you to smash, what's getting you to fuck the girls is that energy that you're bringing in that interaction that makes the situation create into a situation where you're fucking. You understand? It's the thing that you're doing when you're interacting with the girl that gets her to want to fuck you. Now, again, this is not this is not to say every girl that you deal with, you know, in general is just going to want you based off of you doing something that worked with a few other girls. Right. But what I'm saying is, is that the girls who want to fuck you will fuck you based off of you treating them the same way as the girls you previously fucked. Because you're doing the shit, <laughs> you're doing the shit that you were doing that enticed the girls to want to fuck you. Right? You're, you're doing the thing that worked already. Is this like, let's say, for example, if you go to my website, you know, badboymembership.com or mrlocario.com. And let's say on mrlocario.com, you go to the, the, the page where I have my products on the store page and you click on one of my products. And when you click on there, 
it has is a sales page. So it tells you about the product, it tells you the benefits, tells you what you're gonna get in the product, it you know, tells you how much it's gonna cost and all this other stuff, right? So that page doesn't change. It's the same page, no matter who's looking at it. You understand what I'm saying? No matter who's coming into contact with that page, it's the same shit. And what happens is, is that I get sales based off of that page being the same way it's been forever. You understand what I'm saying? So you're going to be getting sex being the same way that you've been. You don't switch it up. You're doing what's been working already. And you're doing that to every woman. You understand? So you're not switching up your shit because you think because of the, the chick is on some, you know, there's a difference between her and the other girl. And you think because there's that difference, you got to come at them a, a different type of way. No, you do not. You understand? You're just going to find girls who want to fuck you, who are in, who are, who basically fit those type of niches or who, who's, who's those type of girls. So what I mean is, is that the same way where you're able to fuck those girls who you think are sixes and sevens by being uh, sexual with them, you're going to find girls who you think are dimes or nines and tens. And the ones who want to fuck you are going to fuck you based off of you bringing that same sexual energy. You find girls from different races. You're going to find girls from those races who want to fuck you by you bringing that same sexual energy. You find women who are in different, you know, uh, like tax brackets or some shit, and they work different jobs at these, you know, uh, like different companies or whatever. You're going to find women in those situations who want to fuck you based off of you doing the same thing you have been doing with all the other women. You understand? So you don't have to switch up. And you shouldn't be switching up. You should be doing the same shit. You got to treat them all the same. Do the same shit with every chick. You understand? But again, dudes be thinking that, you know, there's a different way you got to come at different types of chicks. And you don't need to do that. All you're going to do, all you need to do is find the women within those different types of women Who's going to want to fuck with you based off of the shit you've already been doing? Because again, like I said, if the example is you're trying to smash and you've been successfully having sex with women, bringing a certain type of sexual energy to the to the table. You just got to do that for all the rest. You understand? That's what you got to do. See, when you're switching up and you're doing a whole bunch of other extra goofy shit, thinking, oh, I got to come at it this way. I got to come at it that way because she's different. You're cutting off that sexual energy that bought you the sex in the first place. Cutting off that shit that got you that sex in the first place. So make sure that you are sticking to what you've been doing and keep doing that. Now, before you go, click the link below and go to badboymembership.com. Now, badboymembership.com is a place where you go to get 45 through 90 minute audio and video dating advice tutorials every month. Listen, I know you're tired of being rejected. Go to badboymembership.com. I know you're tired of being afraid to approach women. Go to badboymembership.com. I know you're tired of not getting the women that you want. Go to badboymembership.com. Listen, I know you're tired of being alone on a Friday night. Go to badboymembership.com. Now picture this. 
You'll go from not getting what you want when it comes to you dealing with women to actually getting what you want, to being the guy women want to be with, women want to date, women want to have sex with. All you need to do is go to badboymembership.com, follow the steps, learn the game, implement the game, and then you will get the woman you want. Make sure you go to badboymembership.com today. Click the link below.